Gotta install this battery right now. Come on. It's hard to even look at the engine. Is there another one on here? Oh, here we go. I've never seen something so beefy. This engine's f***ing big, bro. I'm lost. Any ideas? Well, this is interesting. Jesus Christ. All right, so you see this? Right here? Yeah. What's what did that what is that connect to? It's definitely a connection issue somewhere. Should I try it again with this open? Yeah, it'll hurt. Great. Well, it's cranking hard. Maybe I'm out of gas. Sounds like that's what you need. Sounds like you gotta guess. God! Couldn't have been any more comical, dude. That's ridiculous. That's like almost like it was supposed to happen. So if it doesn't have gas, dang, I just found a dopey fairing out here. <laughs> it's breaking down on Maxi Road. I passed like thousands of exits. <sighs> People are gonna think this is a load of gas. Good morning. <laughs> Do you sell gallons of water by any chance? Thank you. Do you sell knives? No? Yeah, anything. I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh, my vehicle broke down on the highway. You take debit? Oh. Uh, just this. And then uh, one of your pumps, five dollars, four dollars, uh, three dollars. Oh, you ran out of gas? Yeah. I've got a gas jug you can borrow as long as you bring it back. I will, I'll come right back here and fill up. Thank you so much. I'm actually on the road. <laughs> oh my God. Huh. After driving for 10 hours isn't enough. Gotta run out of gas. Hope to God this is going in. I need something to like keep the nozzle open. Moment of truth. I need to pray to the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Does it need more gas? A gallon should fill the line at least. I put in half of it. I gotta like create a funnel or something. Oh, it's on! 
Oh my god. Ah, I just got battery acid in my wound. We in business, boys. We in my in business. Jarvis in the clutch. Shout out Jarvis. Dude, thank you. Alright, alright, peace. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Thank you, I have the gas tank. Thank you, you saved my life. Appreciate it. Now I'm gonna fill up as much as possible. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna need all the luck I could get. Oh my god, yo. Lucky dime, baby. So initially I put 30 gallons in, and I figured this thing would at least have a 60 gallon tank. I don't know, we're about to find out right now. 35 gallon tank, 40 gallon tank, 40 gallons. Or is this only letting me fill up to 100 bucks again? $100 limit? This has been the most fun trip of my life. <laughs> give me a, give me a. I am struggling everyone. I am on a serious struggle bus. Haven't given up yet. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't given up yet. On, on the road, road again. again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. God, oh lord, oh lord. Ha oh, everybody. Appreciate you guys watching these videos that aren't necessarily balls to the walls on motorcycles. You guys enjoy these uh, somewhat of lifestyle like videos. Thanks everyone who has also hit the GoFundMe. And thank you patrons also. The bike is still being built by the way. The R1 is still a thing. A lot of people think it's done or over. It's far from that. Please have a shower Flying J. Thank you everyone for being dope. I'm gonna take a nap here and throw on the camera when I wake up. All right, peeps, Maxie here at six, it's 8 p.m. I need keys. Hopefully this bad boy doesn't to make it the final stretch. Starts off like a charm, yo. What? Mm, I don't know how I'm gonna swoop one of these. I'm definitely gonna though. Here we go. In for the swooper pooper. Bye bye. All right, round two of refuel. Because first round it was 40 gallons, stopped me at $100. So I'm curious if this thing doesn't hold more. I think it does. It has to. I'll have to do that and drink my coffee. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Put another 30 gallons in the tank. I think we have 70 gallons. I don't know. It caps my debit card off every time. That's what I'm finding out. Hate you! Hate you! Alright, on the road again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Unnamed road in South Dakota. <laughs> uh -oh. 17 hours left, everybody. I don't count, come through. <laughs> Pretty good turn radius on this damn thing, actually. On the road again. Oh god, it looks like it's about to start raining. Alright. 14 and a half hours left, baby. Made it past the uh, halfway point. I'm going to St. Louis, baby. St. Louis, baby. You can find me in St. Louis. Let's get a little peek ski out the window. Oh, Max, he about to murk this bridge, yo, what? Damn, son, hauling ass, boy. St. Louis. You can find me in St. Louis Where the gun play, rain all day Some got jobs and some sell, yay Others just smoke Final bridge murker, baby Oh, and just like that, we're in Missouri Mizuzu's I have to, I, I, I am 100% positive This is the most states I've ever been in The shortest amount of time Like this has to be over under like 25 states like oh we got a fellow biker baby hell yeah boy hell yeah i'd be down i'd rip it i'd rip it and rip it maybe yeah. man there's casinos screw it can i put the rv on a on black spin it and win it baby Oh, let's go, baby! It's the Max Dream! 
I was trying to say maxi stream, baby. We got another sunrise out here in Kansas, I think. I believe we're in Kansas. I honestly don't know. I'm just following the GPS. And we got one minute till we're under 10 hours, baby. We might actually make it. Oh, we might actually make it. Unless this morning has a bit of a turn. We shall see. Don't get over yet, motherfucker. I'll run your ass off the road. So, pretty stoked on it. Got the 1999 Airstream land yacht. Still ticking, still cruising. Oh my God, I've been in the car, or should I say the RV, for a very long time. It's almost uncomfortably long. Yeah, it, it's an uncomfortably long time. Do I smell burning? Hopefully not, hopefully all is good, but uh, I think I'm gonna go for four more hours today, and then I'll take a break. You know, I only have six left till I get to uh, homeboy's house. <sighs> Doesn't smell good. I'm just hoping that's someone else that I'm smelling right now. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this whack AF journey. I know it's been crazy, it's been weird. And yeah, it hasn't been too fun for me. Literally, you know, I haven't gotten to ride, I haven't gotten to edit, I haven't gotten to do really anything but drive. Needless to say, I am uh, I'm very excited to A, get under 10 hour marker, baby. B, I'm just excited to get to South Dakota for Sturges. And the craziest part about all this is the second I get to South Dakota around 4 a.m., I'm jumping on a plane back to LA. Risty and I are both meeting there in Sturges, so I'm not gonna see him for another two weeks. Huh. Long story short, life's good. Dang, Kansas City looks nice. Oh, these roads though, man. I'm smelling like something burning. I think it's outside. Yeah, we'll go with it's outside, baby. Actually, I don't know. I'm a little hesitant. So, God bless us all. God bless America. God bless America. Anyway, if the RV breaks down or I'm stuck again, I'll throw the camera back on. But until then, I will, um, shooting for a goal of four more hours, which is a lot. That means I would have driven over, this would be a 12, 13 hour day for me. But yeah, definitely want to see this um, down to a very small number for my final trek. I want to really make sure I make it. This highway just got hella shifty, bro. I got an RV buddy too. There's actually a class C behind me, fellow biker. Hand wave, what's up, what's up? That's like Risty's. Risty has a class C. And uh, so you guys already know that I put a nitrous on the R6. I'm definitely gonna increase the shot on that because it's not enough power. I need like something stupid. And, I don't know, so he does a nitrous on the RV, baby? I could turn this horn and do a boost button. Straight Mad Max up in this biatch. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of that idea. It's absolutely stupid, and I think it would be a great idea. I'd just throw the tank right in the end. You know, throw a 20-pound nitrous tank on here. Talk about a sleeper for the keeper, man. I'd be murking everybody. Superbike gone. Anyway, I don't know how I still have energy to keep going. I am running on empty, unlike this machine, baby. This thing, I don't even know how much how it holds. I don't know how much this holds in gas. Initially, I thought it was 40 gallons, and then I put 40 gallons, then 30 gallons into it, so I was like, shoot, it has to hold 70 something gallons. And then, um, anyway, I just haven't topped off the tank yet because my debit and credit are both like limited. Maybe it's for like security purposes. I didn't tell my bank or credit card company that I'm doing some traveling. So they probably think someone's running around with my card if I uh, don't reach out soon. Anyway, not the case. I'm chilling, I'm cruising. Gorgeous sunrise again. I haven't hardly hit any rain. Besides in Florida, hardly any rain. Dear to nine. Sweet deal, sweet business. And uh, thank you everybody for doing it. Oh, and by the way, St. Louis, you have the worst effing highways I've ever came across. If anyone's ever on a motorcycle going on the highway through St. Louis, on a motorcycle, on the highways, be careful. They're insanely uneven. They're insanely sketch. This thing nearly tipped over a couple times. Kansas City, gorgeous town. So much green stuff. Like what? Californians ain't used to this green. They're used to a different green. We're about to pull up to the city of Kansas City, baby. So, I'd like to have the camera on show you guys a gorgeous sunrise in Kansas City. 
as we cruise through morning rush hour traffic here in Kansas City. It's a little fing intense. Bear with me here. It's crowded, it's booming. I'm hawking in RV in rush hour. Don't tip it. This is the one thing Maxi can't crash is this RV. He crashes his RV, the game is over. I'm done. I am done. I crashed this, I am done. There will be no rebuild our, our, our RV series. It's hard for me not to say R6 because that's all I think about when I'm rebuilding stuff. It's very, it was a very sad day with that R6 wreck, man. It was rough for me. That bike, you know like when you have a bike that's perfect for you, and like perfectly tuned, everything's working flawlessly. Oh, I had that. Yo, though, Kansas City's dope! What? Gorgeous skyline. All right, 70 West, 70 West detour. Oh my gosh. Maxi's threading needles here in the RV. Go the, oh my God, hopefully it's got the clearance for the load. I take off the top. Oh, we're in Missouri now? Shoot, Risty and I should be flying through these. This little spaghetti pit of interchanges. Wait, is Kansas City in Missouri or Kansas? Come on, where's the detour sign, mother chuckas? Come on, Bessie, where's the juice? Hi, Kansas City, bye, Kansas City. God damn, you and freaking St. Louis belong in the worst highways in the US. Yeah, we out, yeah. Yeah, we out, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it was so funny when I bought the RV from the guy in Florida. He's like, you should wait till tomorrow, you know, make sure everything's good. I started up the RV initially. I just watched the engine temperature just go from cold to red hot. And I was like, oh God. I looked in there and I was like, I don't think there's cooling in it. Oh my Lord. Hit that turn extremely hard. He was like, stay till tomorrow morning so I can go through everything, work out all the kinks and all that. Sh and I was like, I can't, I got a plane to catch. I gotta be in South Dakota on Tuesday. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you want me to put some air in those tires? <laughs> and I was like, give me your hose. I'm filling up this coolant. <laughs> we rocking in a rolling, baby. Nothing stopping Maxi. Murderous man, I'm getting murked over here. Just made it to Iowa, baby! Iowa! I don't know any Iowa songs, but god damn it, it's gorgeous! Look at all the cornfields and factories and nothingness. Hi, Iowa! Bye, Iowa! All right, dudes and dudettes. Made it to a uh, rest stop here in Iowa. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go down for a bit. And then the final trek is seven and a half hours. Just wanted to show you guys these massacres of thugs. Oh, there's one right there. Yo, but straight up, it, it was a massacre. I gotta get a vacuum. I gotta get this cleaned up hardcore. But anyway, had to show you guys the slaughtering here. There's hundreds of ants. Look at that. They called in the reinforcements and they all just got murked. Oh my God, I didn't even flip this. Oh my God, it's like Auschwitz. Literally Auschwitz. Oh my gosh, there's no ants in there. Where? there. Interesting, interesting. I know there's more in here somewhere, so it's gonna take some good cleaning. But all right, I'm out. Oh shoot, Maxie's back up and at it. What's good? Maxie's back at it. I was flooding still, you know it, boy. This is the final part of the trip. Hopefully Maxie, hopefully myself, can make it to South Dakota and drop off the RV at the checkpoint, at the extraction point. And be Gucci, man, I'm pretty excited here. Uh, obviously, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to be done driving. I'm excited to see my girlfriend. I'm excited to be back in civilization, have some friends around and people to talk to and editing to and shit like that, so. Thanks everyone for joining me on this journey. It's a pretty good journey. I don't think it's gonna, it's it's far from over, obviously. See, I'm still in Iowa. Ooh, it looks like Des Moines, Iowa over there. There's two buildings. Wow. This thing needs a 
subwoofer, baby! My baby, my baby! My baby, my baby! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, Maxie needs to take a shower, I think. Alright, gotta gas her up. What's good? What's up? Man, it was pop, it was crack! You already know we're in the Maxi unit, baby! Mama Maxi, you know it. You know it. You show it. I grow it. Baby, eh, eh. How about a little full speed highway entry? Full send. Three, two, one. That's all she's got. All right, we are seven. T minus seven hours until arrival baby i just wanted to give you guys a little an informal invite as you guys know risty and i bought each bought an rv and we're going to be traveling the country the united states riding everywhere we can staying where the weather's nice riding with all you guys doing tons of meetups and uh we're going to be living out of rvs so i want to invite anyone who's down Maybe you're retired, maybe you have plenty of money, maybe you're sick of your current life and situation. To uh, buy an RV, throw your bike on the back of it and come along with us. We're more than uh, more than happy to have anyone and everyone along for the ride. So, And we could also use the company. I mean, it, it would be an incredible time and I'm, I think the more the merrier. So if you guys are interested, uh, just hit us up, man. You know where to find us. Ditch your life, get an RV and start a new one. Why not? I love you guys. So it'd be dope to have you guys along. All right, haven't gotten one of these yet. So I'm getting in now. We got a sunset. Final sunset of this trip, of this adventure. I cannot, not, cannot believe the trip was almost over. The impossible has been done. And uh, yeah, Boston across the country for uh, seven days straight. Pretty good. But I'm in Nebraska now. Less than five hours away from the final destination. Couldn't be more stoked. I'm very I'm quite positive there's no more police on this road. If there are, they're not coming for me. So appreciate you guys for watching this entire trip. I will turn it on again if something does happen that's curry is that you guys gotta see. But if not, thank you guys for everything, guys and gals. Don't forget we gotta go fund me to help us uh, travel and use as an emergency fund if we are to break down or whatever. So Anyone who ever hit that and donated, thank you so much. I'll start giving you guys shout outs once I know everyone's name on there is already given, but um, thank you, Dana. Thank you, Max. Thank you guys for everything. So I checked my MPG on the last stop and it said I got three and a half miles to the gallon. I'm kind of wondering if all cylinders aren't firing here. I believe that would be one reason for uh, horrible gas mileage. Less than three hours left, 106 miles before I start snaking turns. Anyway, it's a crazy lightning storm up ahead that I have been watching and it's quite interesting. Hope I can catch some dopeness. Yeah, like that. I don't understand the lightning bolts that I don't see hit the ground. They just stay up in the clouds. Is that common? I thought it has to have a, a base, something to latch onto. What? They're just staying in the clouds. There you go again, in the clouds. Yo, I got this crazy video of what I think is a UFO when I was on a flight home from um, like back to LA. It was like over Colorado or something, Nevada. I don't remember, but it was, it was really weird. We had to go around it in the plane and it was big. Yeah, I'm curious, you guys wanna see that. I'll put it up in the cards for you guys to vote on. Obviously, if it's more, uh, more yes than no, I will obviously release it, but. If you guys don't want to see that, I understand. I will keep it to myself, but uh, yeah, go ahead, vote for that now, it's in the cards. I mean, so the whole span of this thing is like the entire horizon that I'm going towards. I don't notice it stopping at all. Like, <laughs> up there, that's in the clouds. Again, that was huge, up in the clouds. I didn't see a single lightning bolt. I know there's this thing called heat lightning, but I uh, also heard that's a load of BS. It's like not a thing. I don't know. This stuff to me is weird. And I mean, I grew up in the Midwest. I was always around thunderstorms. would see lightning all the time. But stuff like this is weird. Here I go, just heading into it. No one's out here, literally. I'm the only one. No service. So if 
I get abducted, all you'll have is my GoPro footage and my last few words thinking this is some alien. What am I driving into? I'm getting nervous now. 90 more miles in this direction. Not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this seems fake. I'm just stealing our energy. Wow. I'm going in, man. See, the white lightning, I understand, okay? But when there's like purple and orange, I can't drive into this. All right, guys, well, this is it. Hopefully, Maxi makes it through. If he doesn't, at least you guys have a good video. I definitely need to open the windows. So if I don't, this thing might actually tip over. Oh boy, my windshield wipers don't work, so here goes nothing. Powers, oh, don't get struck by, I need to wear my shoes. Oh, I fear my life. I'm gonna die, I'm listening to music. Absolute cap to this trip. 
over. I didn't think I'm getting out of it, maybe. Oh, wow. That was big. This is worse than a hurricane. Well, that was worse than a hurricane. I mean, it's definitely like, I'm definitely out of the heaviest part, so. But man, this lightning is insane. Numerous times, it's gone from far left across the entire horizon. Like, and, and it's just, like there's a little, that was little, okay? Oh my God, why did this whole mission have to be mission impossible? It's literally maxi impossible, impossible maxi here. Oh my god, I am still just shook, shock, shookity, shook, shook, the shaked up. Dude, effing intense, man. I think I can go a solid 50 now and cruise it from here on out. At least that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that's a house. Big trucking, big rig trucking. That lightning bolt was effing huge! Yo, Loki, that lightning bolt was probably 40 miles long. Like, what in the hell? I don't know if you guys understand how big this is. Like, that's like a hundred miles. Like at least. Like that was insane. It was like ba 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 ba. I've just never seen lightning go sideways for hundreds of miles. Like that was like what in the <sighs> I am oddly confused with what has happened. Yo, I don't care what anyone else says. There's UFOs. Straight up. Like, that was a astronomical amount of energy. Astronomical amount of energy. Like, it's not even fathomable. Like, you, you can't understand how much energy was just given off there in all that light. It was probably upwards of like a thousand years worth of electricity for New York City, literally, like, each lightning bolt, I can't, I can't even explain it. It's just, it's basically an infinite amount of energy that was just thrown out there into our atmosphere. That one was weird. But it's not just the fact that it was just, you know, it's just thrown out into our atmosphere. It's not like it's hitting the ground. It's not like it's, you know, What was that one? Yo, I'm gonna be staring at these videos and analyzing them for a minute, but I don't know. You gotta be pretty naive to think, like, look at that. One cloud over there just murking. Look, just imagine a UFO in there, over there. Literally, I thought I saw it. Same spot. Boom, boom. That was a circular lightning bolt. That was like a ball of lightning. Look at that, same spot, same spot, same spot, same spot, same cloud. I grew up in lightning storms, uh, thunderstorms, whatever you want to call them. And A, you would hear the lightning hit the ground. Like I haven't heard a single rumble, like none of that. Like look, it's just the clouds are lighting up now. Just show you a little better without this. Am I wrong? Look at that! Look at that! It's like a freaking... Well, 
Like to think all this energy is getting dispersed right here in this small little area and beings from elsewhere aren't wanting to harvest this energy. This is enough energy to travel millions of light years. That, that's the kind of energy it is. I mean, yeah, maybe all of this energy combined takes, you know, that's how much it takes just to get. Well, everybody, I think this is it. Baby, Maxie made it. To the final destination, I can't believe it. I'm in shock. I'm shook. The RV is not totaled. Maxi is literally shook. The fact that I made it here on time, didn't crash, RV still works, I am shocked. But here's the ultimate test. Oh, that ain't it. Looks like I'm going to that little city of lights out there. Hopefully I don't get abducted. Thanks everybody who watched all these episodes, came along for the ride, you guys kicked seriously. Like, the fact that you're willing to watch me drive this RV across the country, obviously I make it very interesting because I am, I'm persistent. So you know I'm not gonna give up. When push comes to shove, when t times get a tough, I push it harder. And you already know it. And everyone, thank you everyone who's hit up the GoFundMe and helped Risty and I make this trip come to life. You guys kick. Thanks everyone who's on Facebook watching our videos. Couldn't have done it without your support on there either. Patrons, huge shout out. There's uh, some dope sh coming on the R1, baby. I'm excited about it. I should be able to uh, tinker with it a bit next week, so. And um, besides that, thank you, everybody. Nothing like a final off-road adventure to figure out if everything is tight on this RV. You know? One of these rumbles could just knock something off, no problem. I should hit it with some speed, wow. Weirdest lightning storm I've ever been through. I'm, obviously, I'm gonna clickbait the hell out of this and say like, maxi battles an alien mothership or something, I don't know. But, uh, shoot, going over to Chris, Christopher, that's who's out here. I'm excited to see him, meet him. And uh, yeah, thanks again everyone for the support. I don't know what else to say. Besides that, I could let the camera roll for a bit. Why not, I guess. I will make sure to charge the camera so I can record the final trip on, baby! Oh, Lord. I hope you guys come out to Sturgis, say what's up to Risty and I. I don't know if we're gonna be staying in Sturgis, but we'll definitely be there for the uh, festivities. We'll turn up a bit, you know we will. And uh, I will have the RV with me as well. So if you guys wanna check out the maxi unit, it should be there, honestly, as long as she starts back up. I still have a mile, I still have 1.2 miles on this road. All right, it's time to hit it with a little speed. Yo. This community is out here in the middle of nowhere. Fingers crossed that uh, I'm not driving into some cannibalistic community over here and get chopped up and served on a platter. Hopefully they ain't a bunch of maxious haters. But we will find out very soon. 